going on guys my name is Greg and today welcome back to the how to make series and we're doing black ops 3 again and today we're doing spider-man noir and I just want to make this clear um, I don't think doing all the uh, spider-verse characters in black ops 3 is necessary so this is probably the last one I'm doing in black ops 3 I don't plan on making any more emblems in black ops 3 I don't mean to be rude about it um, it's not about the views and the lack there of them it's honestly I just don't enjoy one recording the video because I just I have I've already done this twice and Black Ops 3 and then going to recreate the emblem and then finding the new layers and stuff like that uh, it's just just mind-numbingly not fun I'd rather start working on new emblems than on Black Ops 4 than emblems that I've already done three four two times on another Call of Duty so this is more than likely gonna be my last Black Ops 3 one we'll see I mean if I get a request I might do it but let's just go ahead and start it um we're gonna go ahead and start off with a uh a square we're just gonna pretty much cover up the back here um so we're looking at this gray right here what's that okay so now i want you guys to go in and grab windsock it's right here in the tools and you just want to turn it white and just follow the position the scale rotation and opacity um so just basic white you don't have to worry about changing the color on that okay then you want to go grab uh, fade, which is in the patterns here, right next to the tools, and you want to put it there, and pretty much just turn that black, because the color we're using. Yeah. Then you want to grab this layer called podium. You'll find it in the tools here, and pretty much just put it here, and it's black as well. So okay. Then we're gonna just grab a circle. Follow the position, the scales, and the opacity is going to be 100% uh, on all of these but one layer. And I, then you'll know what layer. So everything's 100% opacity till the very, very end. Okay. So we're looking at that there. Another circle here. Like so. Another circle here. Then you want to go grab curved line, put it here. And then you want to put another curved line here. Then you want to grab another curved line. This one's going to be white and you're going to pretty much just put it over that circle there like so. Okay, then you want to go ahead and grab another circle, and you want to turn that gray. But you don't want to use the dark gray that we use in the background, you want to use a lighter gray. So here's the one we use for the background, you want to go down here, just one underneath it. Okay, and you just copy and paste that around. So, so, keep putting them in. Pretty much we just created the egg from Black Ops 4. And then we're going to put one here. And another one here. Yeah, get another circle. Put it here. Make this one black. Then you want to grab loaf or pie slice on here. It's called pie slice. And you just want to put it here. Like that. Then you want to grab windsock again, which is right here. Turn it black. And another one right here. Then we want to go ahead and grab fade again, and we pretty much just want to turn it the same gray as we used for the mask. We'll be putting this in uh, quite a few of them. You could probably just skip. You just gotta line them up throughout the very throughout the face there. A very simple process and whatnot. So. Like so.
put it here now. We're gonna skip the middle a little bit. Um, actually, no, we're not. I'm sorry. The way the Black Ops 3 emblem is, is just kind of copy and paste system kind of just puts everything anywhere and it doesn't really give you a basis of where it's putting it unlike i feel like uh, black ops 4 does a better job of that so you're just lining them up through like so okay then i want you to go in and grab visor and you want to put it here it's just going to be white so don't worry about pretty simple like okay then we're going to go grab a uh, kiss right here and you're just going to put one here. And another one here. Then you want to grab a smile outline, put it up here. Then you want to get smile outline again. Turn it into the same gray we used for the one side of the face, not the background gray, the face gray. Then you want to go grab a paint splash, hollow it out in the middle with a square, put it there, expand this one, put it here. Then you want to go into type, grab I, the letter I. I'm going to put it in there. We're going to use four of these, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, no, just three. Put it here. One here. Another one here. Then you want to go grab a square, and you want to put it right in the middle here. Like so then you want to grab a circle and you want to turn it the same gray as we used for the face so we're gonna put that in then you want to go grab pyramid it's the rounded triangle not the actual triangle itself kind of put it on the back here of the eye like so then you want to do the same thing on this side but this time turn it black And a triangle as well. Then you want to grab a another circle, gray. Another one here. Then you want to grab a half circle, make it white, put it here. Then you want to grab a rectangle medium. You want to put it here. Then you want to grab basic triangles, not pyramids, basic triangles, and put them on the corners here. So. Then you want to grab a circle, pick it up here. Then you want to grab this shape it's called lampshade and put it up here. So, then grab the same shape, make it white. Then grab a circle, put it up here. Then grab a smile outline. Turn it the dark gray that this background is. Put one there. And one there. And now we're pretty much going to uh, finish up with fades here. Um, and we're just going to be, they're all going to be black. I'm going to put one here. Then you put one alongside the other side of the jacket. And then, uh, of course, the rest you're going to fit on top of the hat here. So you can put them in any order you like. It doesn't actually matter. Um, not like overlaying layers is gonna make a big deal for this you can just you can put them you could start with the jacket you could start with the hat you can start with any side that you like as long as it just as long as you put it in the right spot I guess I don't know 
We're gonna put that there, and then we only got four more layers. Another one here. Another one here. Another one here. And another one here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab this shape here called tongue. And you're going to turn it black. And we're in about uh, 30 opacity. 35. And that's it. That's uh, Spider-Man Noir from Into the Spider-Verse. Same one I did on Black Ops 4. And I am done. I'm no longer doing these emblems again. I'm sorry. I just... I want... I want to make new content a little bit more that I enjoy. I'll do Spider-Verse characters, of course, but uh, in Black Ops 4, I will not be going back into Black Ops 3 or redoing any videos in Black Ops 4 or World War 2 or anything along those lines. I'm sorry if that makes you mad, but I really just want to start. I want to, I want to get new content up and stop making the same thing over and over again. Uh, this is my third time making this one and my Miles Morales emblem. As much as I love the support on those, I just really... I uh, think it's time to move on and start making new emblems and new content and really uh, that's where I want to go. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, at least this emblem uh, or this video. If, if you've seen it, you've probably seen it before, but that's it. And I will thank you so much. Make sure to drop a like, uh, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for the support, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. And if you have any emblems you can request them down in the comments down, section down below on this video, or you can uh, hit me up on Twitter at half a gallon. And make sure to come watch me on stream at Twitch dot, uh, Twitch TV at half underscore gallon or on Mixer at half underscore gallon. Had a lot of fun with my last stream playing Resident Evil for the first time. Never played the original games. So I had a lot of fun. Uh, come over, have some fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.